Castle of Strahd, everyone. Last time in the Castle of Strahd, the party is currently exploring the mountain range of the Tselenka Pass. They are hoping to find clues that would lead them towards the elusive Amber Temple. The mountains are uh, apparently a place where a lot of static comes in. For some I think reason. it was you, Adam. <laughs> yeah, it just it, it was that random static. It, it's gone now. Yeah, there we go. He's because he's, he's muted. But uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But um, <laughs> right. But the, the mountains are also the, the uh, hiding place of the barbarian tribes, the remnants of the Red Horde, which uh, the defeat of which have earned Strad the name of hero so long ago. The that the war with which was what created the original Barovia under Strad and his father's rule. You're not sure what you'd find, but you've already been receiving the attentions of these barbarians. Fisk was almost kidnapped by one. You're also joined by a bassoon and Milavoy. Milavoy was rescued from uh, Zealots who uh, affixed him to a torture wheel and bassoon is as always a loyal companion. However, the party has reached a narrow pass. And as it reversed it carefully, a gigantic monstrous goat creature appeared above the above the railing, above the edge, high above them. It bleated angrily, demanding and threatening and seemed to come when the party retreated. But then, when they stopped and then began advancing once more, it charged. And I believe we all hold our initiatives. Mm -hmm. Let me just get the initiative for Big Boy. Alrighty. Okay, so because he was basically ready and he has this feature. Let's get his. There we go. That's gonna be a. Hey, that's 20. Oh, and who do we have? Uh, Vasilla, what is your dexterity? Uh, 16? More like. You and Melvoy both go before Mr. Goldman. Okay, let me this. And there we go. We are on the way. Fisk. As the beast begins to charge, you are up. What would you like to do? He's muted still. I, I can't see the map. Is anybody else having problems? Uh, scroll to the the far. Uh, the oh, far right, okay, Thank you. Thank yeah. you. Yeah. Yeah. That. Wait, wait. He said. Yeah. For a moment. For a moment, that he wasn't on the map, but um, he is. Are you there, Adam? Adam. Adam's on mute, and yeah. his camera's off. I think he might be trying to uh, get something fixed, I guess. All right. Um, in that case, I suppose uh, we'll have to hold his turn um, until such time that he comes back. Uh, Vasilla. Oh, I was hoping I'd have more time to think. Uh, Too bad. Yeah, screw you. Um, <laughs> ah, hey, um... Let me let me read the description of an item real quick, as I'm still I was kind of planning this out. Sure. Um, give me a second. Ah, uh, it's five feet. Shit. Ah, uh, well, there goes the Minotaur salve. Um, hmm. Here. 
choose here. Um, I can go to towards me. That will be helpful. <laughs> um, I do have the upgraded. I do have the upgraded um like weapon. Against aberration. All right. Do like two. Um, hmm. I, I guess we're gonna stick with the. Actually. Oh, wow. It is charging soon. Oh. I don't know if I can. Guys, I don't think I can trip that. <laughs> I don't think I can trip that thing. Um, shit. What can I do? Just pursuing the turn order, not soon enough. Mm -hmm. Hold on. Uh, Vasilla? Yep, yeah, I know, I'm thinking, I'm think I think I got an idea here. Alright. Hey, that's what you're... Blast. All right. Uh, she's going to look over to um, Bassoon and and she's going to look over. I need you to melt the ice underneath that thing. He looks up and nods. I'll try. All right. I'm going to hold my action for when he um, when a substantial amount of melted water shows up. Alright, you, the mountain here is basically like, you know, it's like snow, ice, rock, it's hard to make out exactly what's what, but you're fairly certain it is a bunch of ice over there. Yeah, oh, I'm, I'm, I'm waiting for him to drop a fireball or something big mm -hmm. enough. So All is right. it standing, is it not on the ledge down there with us right now? No, no, it's about, it was like 60 foot up, like, kind of, like, just like this ledge, like high above you guys. Mm -hmm. Like, and it was like kind of standing on top of the ledge and you guys are like on where my keyboard is i guess got it mm -hmm. and it was like bah! get the fuck off my mountain oh that's how you impact <laughs> and then you guys didn't and he began charging and he like the way he's charging is basically like he definitely has some kind of something going on because he's like charging in a way that would a normal goat anything would probably fall and he looks okay. pretty damn fast all right, uh, Vasily, you're saying you're holding your turn until you feel like a sufficient enough of uh, thing has happened. All right, and with that, Milavoy is going to get going. You see, Milavoy is going to put his. Milavoy begins, you know, like kind of like out of the wall, and then like uh, we've seen vamp other vampire spawns do uh, towards the creature. Soon call, uh, soon calls out. Wait, hold back! And but Milavoy is already uh, halfway there. Let me see. What yeah, with a dash, he's going to be able to make it uh, to this thing, and um, let's see, yeah. Milvoy is about face with this thing, and he's going to try an athletics check, let's see, to try to jump up onto this thing. And that's a 14. You see me like, ah, and the uh, goat just like Bilovo gets smacked out of the way. He's gonna roll an acrobatics, uh, which he is not proficient with, unfortunately. Um, oh, I forgot you give him the vamp by in case. Just acrobatics. Right. Uh, that's a 16. Milvoy is going to manage to uh, land on his feet, but he still takes about, let me see, five plus six. That's all right. And that's half because it's not magical damage. But yeah, Milvoy has. <laughs> Milvoy, like, kind of 
Gets all the wind knocked out, knocked out of him, and he is uh, Poe. Okay, uh, with that... Adam! All right, not a moment too soon, Adam. Uh, would you like to take your turn? Um, yeah, so as he was coming down the mountain, um, I threw the spear and did erupting earth right in front of him. Like, right. as he was coming at me. All right, right, right. All right. Let's the, see. the idea was to, like, trip him up somehow, get him off the side, make him fall. Right. I don't know, right. something. No, no, I got you, I got you. Opting Earth, could you just, uh, you know, click it for me, like, ping it in the thing? Yep. Thank you kindly. Help to have my character sheet open. All right, I would want to try and get rid of that static, so I'd switch a bunch of stuff around. Yeah, no worries. Everything good now? Should be good. Nice. Go. Pull me away. All right. All right, so he needs to make a dexterity saving. This, uh, like, you know, you guys can see that this beast is definitely magical in some way. Uh, did we say dexterity saving throw? Alright. Uh, 17. Alright. And this is magic, right? This counts, as, this counts as magic. That's gonna be with advantage. He has the uh, thing. That's an 18. I believe that still saves. That's a 15. Uh, but I think he takes half damage, right? Yeah, so go ahead and still hold me a 3d12, please. Say fifteen, which is halved, is seven. Okay. And as a bonus section, I call the spear to me, and um, wait for him to make his way down. Yeah. Like you see him, like a clap. Like as you throw the spear, pow, and he kind of like. Look, like very gracefully for this creature, such a large creature, man, just do choo -choo -choo, like jump, like for two, two outcroppings, like not even slowing down in his charge. Uh, which, choo -choo -choo, and as he makes uh, his way to the bottom, Fisk and Varys and Milvo, you three are going to be the loving uh, receivers of his uh, tender charging maneuver. I am being facetious, by the way, if you couldn't tell. There's nothing tender about this. Uh, he has moved uh, 20 feet straight. Uh, you said you'd, you would... Yeah, it was like towards the... Uh, there, so that's going to be... All right, so... I need... All right, so let me see. Fisk, Varys, and yes. Now that makes him smaller because he is now on the same plane as you. That gun just oh right, there we go, that's correct. Okay, so Fisk and Ferris and Milvoy. Uh light to 28, you hold an 18. And 19 bludgeoning to Fisk, Varys, Milvoy. And light. However, Fisk, when you threw that, you did force him to change trajectory, so uh, he does not deal an additional 2d8 damage, which is good. Because that would be bad. All right. Uh, all right. He makes it down like he got just like, kind of get bold aside. Uh, Ferris and Fisk and Milvo, I need to you guys to give me strength saving throws, please. An eight and fourteen. That passes. And Millivoy 19, Millivoy passes. All right, Fisk, you kind of received a brunt of it um, as you, uh, you get like thrown backwards. Let me see. Um, about 5, 10, 15, okay. Yeah. You get thrown backwards about 15 feet. 
Uh, one, two, three. Oh, wait, no. I missed one. 20 feet. Uh, but luckily there's no wall in the way and you almost hit Tomogen, but you like kind of manage to throw a ninja flip in the air and you land. Um, alrighty. Uh, Varys, you succeeded. You managed to avoid being pushed. Uh, the beast is now going to... You see where he's going. And stomps. I need uh, dexterity saving throws from Varys and Millivoy, please. Right, Varys, I'm afraid that does not save. Let's see the stump. Uh, that's 12 bludgeoning damage to you, Varys. Um, poor Millivoy didn't have really time to get up, so... Yeah, let's stay at the He succeeds, but he still takes half. That's like, you guys are, like, pelted like an explosion of rocks. And then goes... <laughs> as its cry echoes... And I need, let me see, Tomogen, mm -hmm. uh, 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 yes, Tomogen and Bassoon and Fisk to please make me dexterity saving throws as, nope, wait, that's not a bonus action. My apologies, that should have been okay. an action. Forget that, forget that, forget that, I already used this action. Okay. Uh, yeah, I guess that's the end of his turn for now. Uh, and you see him. Like he's preparing to charge again. Honor him. Let me see what Kev sent me to do with honor him. I think it's coming back a little bit. Okay. Uh, under him will cast again casting a spell which will be extremely funny if it goes off let me see does he have the spell i'm going to assume that he does oh okay <laughs> all right uh that's a wisdom saving though let me see Alright, alright. Alright. Let's see. That's gonna be with advantage. 22. That's a pass. Yeah! What the <laughs> fuck? What well, you rolled really high. You rolled an 18. Even with, no, even with no modifiers. Even with a minus one, it was still passed. On him. Stubborn as a goat. Using the change. <laughs> mm -hmm. All right, Anarim uh, moves a little bit further uh, past the Odian. Like a gust of wind passes, and you guys see like the goat's eyes glow blue. Tomjin, you're up, my man. All right, uh, seeing this, seeing everybody. He's like, uh, yeah, everybody, you may want to hang on. Um, Bonus action is uh, Abjure Enemy. So he has advantage, no matter what, uh, just to make sure. And let's see. As it goes, he casts Thunderous Smite. And, or, oh, wait, why is that not... Anyway, and uh, yeah, he's going to move up and hit him with his unfolded saw spear. 10, 15. He can hit him from there, correct? Um, we get folded spear. Yes, you can. Yeah, and it was unfolded very into last session. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, green pain blade and divine smite, which, yeah. Good God, so many things to friggin' undo here. Wait a second. Uh, Abjure enemy is an action, I think. Is it? Oh, okay. Yeah. Well, then, then, yeah, he. Da, 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 da. 
Well, I'm just going to drop Abjure then. I'm not going to Abjure then. So. All right. Thunder smite and attack. Mm -hmm. Just hit anyways. All right. 12. Let's mm. go smack him like the blow. We're going to block. Like, his hide is like iron. Like, the fair is so thick. It's just going to tear. And the, 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 the skin and muscle beneath just turns your blow aside. Ooh. All right. And at advantage. Lars and Milliboy are right there. Oh, yeah. I still get an advantage. I didn't You're not that. flanking. No, that's for sneak attacks. It doesn't. I don't think it generates an advantage. I think yeah, it, just it gives him a ability uh, sneak attack. A sneak attack. Oh yeah, no, it doesn't give me advantage. You're right. You're right. Oh no, no, no. I, I see. I see. Yep, 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 My yep. fault. Yep. Yep. I did. The no, same no thing. worries. No worries. <laughs> yep. Sometimes I forget too. Yep. Like for a moment, I was like, "Why did I forget?" No. Yeah. <laughs> Why, Tom? Anything else? Uh, nope. That's it for me. Right. Well, I mean, uh, go ahead and pull uh, the pull the squiggly concentration thing on yourself, because hey, thunder might last until you hit him. That's true. Thank you. All right. No worries. Bassoon is going to say, you know, like, no, nah, unfortunately, like, Bassoon slower than this thing and got down by then, so kind of looks to you, Vasila, to see if you want to take to move and do your thing before he does, because... Uh, uh, she's going to give him the nod to go for it, and she seems to be holding something in her hand. All right. Uh, in that case, Bassoon is... Yeah, he's going to attempt, like, uh, you guys see him, like, like kind of get a, some fire in his fist and uh, at the ice above uh, the large goat creature and let's call it a flame fire bolt that's a 21 13 fire damage all right it's a bonus action you can see that like it causes like some like ice like to rain down on Sangzo, but it doesn't seem to Hurt him too much. How wide's the area? I'm sorry. How mm. wide's the area that was melted? Uh, it, he aimed for like this outcropping of ice, and like it was it was maybe like a five foot area, maybe like -ish. I was I was saying like trying to melt the area under the goat. I wanted to use Kraken's grip. No. Uh, no, 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 but I understand, but that's why he was looking forward to you, because the goat has gotten down to the same ledge as you guys by now. Yeah, no, I mean, like, if it's still under him, that's fine. Just under... Oh, oh under... Uh -uh. Yeah, so, I literally right. just... Well, that, that's All right, the... uh, in that case, but soon we'll have, you know, we trust you, so... Mm -hmm. uh, he'll attempt to shoot under the goat, um... Uh, he'll succeed, and you see, like, there's some, like, you know, like, it get, psh, like, it blows up some of the snow and ice beneath them, but it exposes rock. So, is there, is there anything close to a puddle I could use for the thing, or no? There is a puddle of water underneath him now. Alright, uh, let's take a look here, because this, I think the, uh, the strength is still the same, if I'm right. It's just the reach is the double of the size of the source, up to 30 feet. So it's got a 10-foot reach now. It does, it's got a 10-foot reach now, yeah, essentially. Okay, so um, I'm going to trigger it. All right. Well, um, I think this is like the first time anybody used the Kraken ring in this campaign. <laughs> yep. So using my action, um, I think it, yeah, I think it's an action per use. Um, water's going to shoot up and try to like gr like wrap around. On one of the uh, the giant goat's legs, it, it has a strength of eighteen and rolls with proficiency for athletics checks. Let me see. Right. Let me just uh, grab. It's been a while since yeah. I looked at it. I'll, I'll, I can. I, I have it referenced here. Right. Oh no, you have it in the channel. Oh, wow. Wow. Well. Mm -hmm. All right. So uh, yeah, go ahead and roll it for me. And uses my proficiency, which is a four. This is gonna be an eight, essentially, because basically going off of your aim. Please. Wait, no, that's a grapple attempt, so I yeah. can't. I can't. Right, so that's yeah. thirteen for a grapple attempt. Mm -hmm. well, I mean, let me see. He still has to resist it. Yeah, so he'll. Right. Sangzord uh, does have some pretty serious aesthetics, being that he's the that he's the goat. 
Mm -hmm. um, can we say mm -hmm. like like right here? Sixteen. Oh, 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 oh. oh. <laughs> just passes. Yeah. So I'm gonna I'm gonna do a little thing over here. Definitely a pushy sort of like monster. Alright. I would recommend staying away from him. I, I do hope somebody has for the fall. All right. <laughs> I believe Bassoon still has. Uh, all right. So that's is that the end of your? Uh, mm. Yeah. That would that's your action going off. So I think that's the end of that. Yeah. Um, but you know, Bassoon is going to. Right, that was his bonus action, so he can't enter the blood. Right? He's going to move. Uh, actually, yeah, is there, no, there's room on the side here, so it's going to actually, let's see, 1, 2, 3, 5, 10, 15, 25, 30, 35, and he's going to go for a, uh, yeah, he's going to go over here, and he's going to go for an attack. Let's see. And this, is a, this is just a regular great axe. Uh, no, one d eight on this one. Right, fourteen. So it's just fourteen slashing damage, and then we'll attack again. And one. Yeah. I don't. Yeah, this is just a regular great axe, unfortunately. So that's uh, gonna be. Yeah, guys can see that. But even bassoon strength like doesn't quite like this. Like there's some blood coming out of this creature, but. Um, it definitely seems like Bassoon has to try like, extra hard to push through the fur and uh, everything. That's 13. Yeah, and you felt that way too, Tom. Uh, right, so it's that. Uh, all right, so unfortunately, this, as Bassoon gets behind him, this triggers a reaction from Sengzo. Uh, and. Uh, and you guys probably, those of you who work with horses and other such animals, probably <laughs> oh, learned never, exactly ever, 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 <laughs> ever stand behind one, so. Uh, Paul Bassoon wow. is going to get a thing. Alright. And. Ba -ba 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 -ba. Alright. This is the next thing on the map next to the goat. like rope uh, so it's gonna have to roll a strength save Oof. great all right it's 24 Ooh. it succeeds he is a strength build after all uh right. but that's the end of his turn um you see like uh various you are up my man okay <clears throat> um as a bonus action i'm going to uh they step onto Erodia. All right. Find comfort as you land between her wings. <laughs> She's warm. Okay. Yeah. Hey, might be scary. Um, <laughs> Leap into space. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna tell her to, whenever she can, to get up a little bit, not too far, but uh, outside of ground reach of this motherfucker. Only right. so because the Aodia now counts as your mount, uh, that kind of triggers a turn. So you can have her fly right now. Uh, okay. Let me see. Let me just double check her Aodia's speed. Oh, that's not checking why. Right. Sixty. Okay, but she doesn't have a hover. So that means that she. Doesn't like her matter. It's just got, she basically has to keep moving, or stay. In, she has to keep beating her wings. All right. Okay, that's fine. Yeah. And then so I. Would, yeah. um, so how how high up are you going? Are you having her go? I want her to go just above. So that within. Kind of just a, higher than however big that thing is, so it can't get me. But well, not so, so no, high where it would take over a full movement to get back down if I need to help on the ground. Thirty feet. Sounds fair to yeah. you? Right, 30 feet sounds fair to him. Okay, and then I'm going to take a shot at uh, that motherfucker. Go ahead. Nice. 11, Ooh. unfortunately, will not penetrate his extremely thick hide. Okay, well, I get to take another shot. 
Did he do? <laughs> 26, however, <laughs> will. <laughs> okay. And then I'm going to go ahead and take an action surge and take two more. Well, I do. 26 and 18. 18 just kind of ping off his horn, like, but you see, like, a, you shaved a chunk off it. That's my way of saying 18 is real close. <laughs> <laughs> Man, I'm not, not shooting very good today, boys. He says it's all 28. There he is. <laughs> all right. Uh, are these sharpshooter shots? These are sharpshooter, yeah. All right. So, all right. So, that is 8, 5. 13 plus 12. Six plus. Yeah. Right. You see, like a trickle of blood, like it's like your it's kind of check to like make you both of your arrows lie in the same spot. Like, ah, I rolls a challenge at you and Rodi are flying. All right, let's kind of yell out, let's get him. And my turn. Alrighty, so as we reach the top of the turn order, uh, layer effects are gonna kick in. Ah. Uh, yep. Uh, like it lives here or something. Uh, yeah. <laughs> what? <laughs> Alright, guys, remember 10 minutes. You guys got this? Uh, that it's like it lives here or something. Yeah, I know, right? <laughs> it's like some kind of ancient, magical, weirdo creature. Alright, so let me roll. Alright, so extremely game. powerful, extremely powerful gust of wind buffets down the mountainside. So, those of you who are. I'm so sorry, there. As, as you were like doing this, I was whispering to myself, like, no, 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 don't do it, don't do it. It's, it's a trap, don't do it, but I'm sorry. <laughs> Varys, I need you to roll me, uh, so everybody, I need you to roll me strength saving throws, um, mm -hmm. as this gust is, like, whoosh, pushing down the wind, like, trying to push it towards the edge. Uh, strength saving throws all around, um, with disadvantage for our audio, because she is currently flying. Strength saving throw at disadvantage. Yeah. I am right. not raging, but I got strength saves pretty good. Her... And f f so she she does have a plus four to Whoops. her strengths uh, check. That's so a, that's gonna be a plus four on her. That's a thirteen. Right, twenty one. That passes. Twenty two. That passes. Uh, wow. Thirteen. That doesn't pass. Uh, that is, I believe, that's just for Rodia. So that's gonna be a twenty. One. Wow, that's a natural twenty. I don't believe Rodia has exhaustion. So Rodia passes, and you. Oh wait, seventeen. Actually, hold on. Plus uh, four, 16. right? 16. So that's a d20 plus 4, not 5. 16 does pass, however, and you met in the rodeo. Like, like she's shaking about and various, you're holding on for dear life. Uh, but thanks to the, I believe, Fisk, you made him like the special leather thingy, right? Mm -hmm. oh, and I would say that that uh, allows you to, for the moment, remain, you know, like, so, like you kind of like. Like, you swear that you feel yourself, like, you know, your, like, one leg is, like, kind of, ah, like, off of Rodia for a moment, but then you just kind of slam back down, uh, and, like, you kind of put your leg back in, and, like, as the straps, like, hold you on, like, from falling off, or... Uh... Hmm. Movie trailer content. Alrighty. Uh, let me see. However, Vasilla, I believe... Oh, wait, I need to hold for honor him. The other horses... As well, I need to roll for them too. So let's do honor him first. That's a strength. Uh oh. Like a napkin. Let me see out, if out he the has. Of the highway. Let me see if he has something for this, because I know that his subclass is... has some weird is... stuff. It... Another question: Is feather fall work horizontally? <laughs> Uh, good question. I don't think I don't know, no, but uh, I, 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 <laughs> oh boys, one. I, I love this kind of encounters. It's like coyote, the crazy, the, cra the crazy ones are fun. What is he again? He's a war wizard, right? I think so. Yeah, looks like it. Mm -hmm. Okay, so 
Uh, let me see if he has something that will help him here. Plus two to AC. Oh, plus four bonus to a saving throw. Unfortunately, a nine will not be sufficient. Son of him goes. Fuck, 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 fuck! Oh no. As he is blown uh, off the edge. Now, let me see what Anarim has. I believe he has Featherfall. I think so. I know somebody in this party does. <laughs> Speak up. Oh, yes, what? he does. He does have Featherfall. All right, so. Okay. <sighs> okay. All right, I'm not sure how many spell slots he has because they were, these were all reading zero, but I'm pretty sure you guys... You know, we didn't spend that many spell slots. Um, yeah, we almost came off a full rest, I think. Yeah, I think we were on a full rest. Yeah. Much. Unless he's exhausted, there shouldn't be anything off on him. I believe you guys stopped before you guys finished your full rest, right? We stopped, and then we went through those columns. I don't, let me think. Let me think. That was it. That was it. Yeah. Hmm. Um... Okay. Yes. Well, so I came in, and then before, and then we uh, and then after that, no, we because went, we uh, we made the shelter. There's the big thing with the horse the blankets, shelter. and we, we had saw our the building up top. Mill voice went and scouted it, came back down, and, and then from there, that long rest. We hold up we, there, and then we. Then so we you guys finished the a long rest. Yes, we have finished yeah. a long rest. Okay. Yeah. Good. Par exhaustion. There shouldn't be anything. Okay. Good. Thank you. Yeah, because yeah. like I saw them, the the, the uh, yeah, like yeah. mostly zeros and like a bunch. Of, like, did he use all these spells? <laughs> hey, I had to think about it. I wasn't sure. <laughs> yeah, me too. It's like I don't remember if like I met like if you guys like decided to not finish your long rest because like you guys wanted to yeah. rest in those pillows or not. We would do a lot um, of work making I that used... shelter. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Um, used a polymorph and uh, used that. Uh, I don't think he used anything else, but. Right. So you see him like kind of begin like, falling, uh, but he is falling. Okay. Uh, unfortunately, I'm not sure how to mark that. Let's let's say this. All right, and now horses. Let's hope they can also roll like G's. All right, so let's start with glue. Oh. And Benris. Arvac. Yeah, but he can't do it as a reaction. I know. <laughs> Next turn. Mm -hmm. uh, let me see. Stinky. <laughs> These names. Tomas Jr. <laughs> Alright, so I think Stinky is the only horse here that manages to do that. However, because they are large creatures, uh, and they are grounded, they man, all right, they get moved for less, so Glue gets moved this far. Bandless kind of manages to brace himself against the rock. Stinky is unmoved. Alvac, however, kind of bumps into Stinky a little bit and moves over here, which also pushes Tomas Jr., which is pushed over here. Luckily for the horses, they are horses, but like he goes to, like, especially Tomas Jr., it's like, Murr! like, like. Hooves are like like sliding off the edge a bit. Uh, king of the hills, not king of the hill, fucking lion king. Oh, <laughs> this very different, very <laughs> different reference. Bobby, Damn help it, Bobby. me! Damn it, Bobby! <laughs> Stay on the cliff. Long live the king, Dad. <laughs> no. Fisk <laughs> off. Wow. What a mashup. <laughs> Go for it, Fisk. Okay. Fisk takes out a potion from his sack and downs it as a bonus action. <laughs> as a bonus action, that means you steal all it. Bonus. Uh, for a potion of fire giant strength. What? Yep. You actually, oh, actually, oh, hey, that you, one. Sure. You, you I mean, actually have to roll the, um, you actually have to roll the amount of strength score you get. <laughs> no, no. 
Yeah. See, I remember that there was something I was trying to think about with the potion rule, but uh, yeah. Uh, yeah, bonus action. Go for it, uh, Adam. Uses up your free action and he uses up your nope. uh, bonus action. This takes a, um, a different stance than you normally see um, him using, which is more fluid movement and moves up to the goat and steps in front of Tarm and just squares up against it and just lays a right hook across its jaw. <laughs> Men who punch at goats. Hey, that will hit. And then a left cross. Two, that was 26, that will hit. Oh my god! Ten. 32, that'll miss. <laughs> And then, oh, the crit die. Oh. <laughs> take an elbow and I crack it right between the eyes. All right, you just kind of like, pop, 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 like do like a friggin' air combo, and then it just. <clears throat> and for a moment, like you guys, and like that blow with the elbow is so strong, like fist, you see like, like the shock waves kind of blow the snow off its back, off of your head, like. Like there's like this, like this wind bubble that kind of blows the snow off the ledge backwards, and there's just a moment as you guys hear this, <clears throat> the sound of bone against bone, and then I just widen my stance and stand right in front of it. That's my turn. It's goat eyes meet yours as you see like this trickle of blood like from where your elbow hit. Here it uncrosses its eyes a little, <laughs> a, a little bit. Like his eyes like kind of, like, kind of a little bit. Then it blinks. Uh, <laughs> Catman hit him <laughs> hard. <laughs> I'm just got a calculation here. All right. I, I just pictured Fisk moving like a sumo wrestler. <laughs> <laughs> Twenty-eight, thirty-nine, and forty. Uh, now, have you ever see? Um, uh, what is it? Mountain stance in karate? It's more like, you know, it's uh, a horse stance. I horse think stance. I know what you're talking about. Oh, okay. All right. Yeah. Horse, horse stance. Yeah. It's, it's very, like, yeah, you know, yeah, wide. and. Yeah. That's for the oh, guy that's, like, as wide as he is tall, who still practices martial arts to punch really hard with. It was incredibly, <laughs> it was incredibly hard, and you can feel like he definitely, like, you know, like the thick fur, goat fur, is that the goats have? Mm -hmm. Fur, yes. Wool? I don't know. Yeah, it's definitely absorbing sound of the blows, like the thickness of the skull, or whatever magic thing he has going on is like also protecting it. But like that was still a good damage. All right. Um, okay. Uh, Vasilla, you are up. Am. Oh dear. Um, well, uh, let's try it one more time. Um, I'm going to go for another grapple attempt on this thing's leg. Oh. Seven. All right. That's going to be hard to resist. He has oh. pretty good athletics, but even that is going to be difficult. Roll a two. Yeah. Do it. 21. <laughs> ah, he rolled a nine and he failed. He's done grappled. This guy to see like this uh, where the snow melted. And it's actually most, a little bit more snow has melted like from the heat of combat and all that. Like, so. All right. I'm gonna, Shut I'm gonna, down, like... I'm gonna get desperate. Action surge with that second one. Pull him. I'm gonna trip him. <laughs> All right. All right. I'm just gonna ping this. I'm just going to go into a seat and ping this. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry. Oh, okay. <laughs> You guys can see I didn't like my hands. No, 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 are no, 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 so no. Okay. Yeah, no, right. <laughs> that was a good idea, Maverick. But yeah, I got no, greedy. He's... But no, no, like as he's, like you see, I was like use grapple. That's yeah. fine. No way you could have known that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no. I, you know. I, I, it, it's a, <laughs> it would have been beautiful. Frustration. Yeah. Yeah. I was trying. I was trying to hint. also. Did. Yeah. I was trying to hint at it with the way like he was like charging down the mountain. And yeah, no, I was like, I was like, 
Let me try this because there are some creatures with movement abilities that still can be. Of tricky. course, of course, that's fair. Also, Real life, you fucking can't amazing. fucking trip a goat. <laughs> Are you trying to chip a goat? I have. You can't. I have. Yeah. <laughs> I wasn't right. expecting a positive to that reply to that. It's, um, it's actually true. Uh, it's can... so fucking hard to trip. Oh my All god. Right. Uh, I'm gonna use this to. Basil's kind of like staying in the rear, like or like assume a role honor and would play as she's trying to focus on you know reeling this thing down. You can see her almost leaning in with her body weight with the the magic item. Despite it possibly not needing that, it's one of those visual, auditory, sensual things. Sen sensory things. Not sensual, I hope not. But with that, I will end my turn. <laughs> <All right. laughs> Screw you, Ed. Where are you going uh... with this, Fazilla? <laughs> I went that way! Whoa, 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 whoa. I thought I was just right. really high. I couldn't follow it, so yeah. All right. Fair, fair. Oh. Oh. Mill voice turn. <laughs> Mill voice turn. Mill voice turn. Alright. Yeah. Uh, let's see. Let me check if Mill voice attacks count as magical, because otherwise he'll resist him twice. Uh, guess not. No, nope, he just spawned, so no. Mill growls in frustration and picks himself off the ground. Like, like, like literally, you know, like, kip, you know what the kip up is? Like, just. Yes. Uh, you can definitely tell how, you know, becoming a vampire has, like, increased his overall reflexes. Like, his, his matrix body choreography. <laughs> exactly, exactly. As uh, some Pretty of his sweet. injuries begin, you know, like, close up and see his face, like, going, ah, ah. He's more than... I'm glad you're coming tomorrow so I can smack you in person. <laughs> you ain't hitting shit. <laughs> Trying, motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, Milivoy is going to like seem like jaw out his trusty shovel and um, still got the uh, shovel. Still got the shovel and <laughs> pop. I love it. Uh, pop that mofo. Pop, pop. Uh, again, twice actually, uh, and um, he's uh, soon saved. So that is flanking. That is with advantage. But uh, no crit on that, unfortunately. Uh, wow, did you all, did you all one twice? Yes, he did. Amazing. Oh. Yep. <laughs> nah. it's supposed to be two d eight of damage. That is the saddest two d eight. Wow, no. Not only did he roll. Sorry. Do you guys know what just happened with Milvoy? He rolled a one for damage four times in a row. God damn. Well, <laughs> these are four four d eights, and he rolled one on all of them. That's a rare roll. Did the potion? <laughs> Didn't drink the potion. Hi, Didn't drink so the potion. look at the look at the formula. It's saying one d eight plus zero. How does he how does he roll two d eights and get a one? That, that, Is the formula that, broken? No, that's six plus one. So that's his one d eight plus five from his strength plus one from the second one d eight that he rolled one on. Okay, okay, gotcha. Oh, oh I see. Oh, I see. Oh, 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 my God! I'm sorry. Kid. That's horrific. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's no. terrible. You know what's what? fun though? These are natural ones. I won't be rolling with my characters. That's fun. There you go. Get right. out of the system. <laughs> yeah, like you guys see. So you guys see this. This Not is basically what happens. Beautiful we'll going. Like, <laughs> and the goat just kind of like, <sighs> like just shoving his face uh, <laughs> forward at, and because his head is so big, uh, if this hits, this will hit Fisk as well. Uh, let me see. That's not with advantage, uh, thank God. So that's uh, 25, that's 24 plus 6. Uh, Fisk, I believe 25 will hit you. I don't know, I remember your AC is really high. Um, shield. Ah, shield, okay. <laughs> Boom! So you guys see like this, um, this image of Tomas's shield uh, still emblazoned with that of the sun, like kind of pop up as shh, like... Smack. Millivoy still takes some of it. I guess Fisk, this means it doesn't hit you, but it does. Millivoy, so Millivoy is going to uh, roll me a strength saving throw and succeed. And that Sangzo is now going to. Let's see. Yeah, he'll make a stump attack. I need a dexterity saving throw from uh, Millivoy, Tomogen, and Fisk, please. Dexterity? 
Okay. Yes. Just area here. Uh, is this an area effect? Yes. Okay. It's an AOE. Basically, stumps like. Psh. Oh, okay. But I can. After it's this. kind of like a mini. It's kind of like a mini adapting earth, really. If I don't pass it, I'm going to take. Uh, was it uncanny dodge anyway? <laughs> so, oh, evasion. Or evasion. Thank so, you. so that's half. So a half of pale. Yeah. So uh, fourteen and four. So unfortunately, thirteen does not pass, uh, Tom. So you take seventeen. Seventeen. Oh, half a fail. Half. Sorry, you take. Um, Eight. Eight. Right. Uh, and I believe Fesky takes zero. Take zero. All right. Milvoy, <laughs> unfortunately. Yeah, Milvoy. I love evasion. Yeah, evasion is <laughs> yeah. amazing. Uh, no, takes eight. <laughs> yeah. See, like, shh, like, tries to protect himself, like, from the brunt of it, like, with his shovel. I think it's shovel. All right. That's it. Was... Okay. Shit, shit, shit. Um,. If I spend all my movement and I don't care oh, about... Sorry. I know you can't oh, see yeah, him. Yeah, it's yeah. on the rimstone. I just need to Oh, that's check. right. That's right. Yeah. Yeah. Can you cast... Let me see if Fly has any material components. VSM. A material... F a wing feather from any bird. <laughs> Parvis! <laughs> yeah. Parvis! <laughs> Parvis! That's Tom No, no Parvis no, is, Parvis is a weasel Parvis. right now. We is like, <laughs> He's like, oh hell I no! Don't, <laughs> I don't know. I don't know if I would rule that Nico, his flying monkey, counts as a bird. We have that, a flying horse feathers? with wings. <laughs> yeah, that's that's feathers, yeah. Behold a man! Behold I imagine... a man! <laughs> Rodia's feathers are like a. Uh, a tree branch. <laughs> you would not actually fly with casting. Oh, can you move while casting a spell? Um, hmm. That's a good question. Uh, can you cast a spell while falling? Well, uh, that's a one action. Cause it's not a reaction like further fall is. Right. Like, uh, okay. Perdera. Single action, the coming range, that was spell. Somatic material. Spellcaster must have a hand free to access the spell to deal with opponents. Blah, I'll be blah, honest, blah. this might have been a lot more fun than I was expecting it to be. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to say that, you, yeah, like, while falling, you know, like spells that take an action, especially ones that have material components, are probably going to require some kind of check. So I'm going to have him roll me. Um, Let's say a constitution saving throw because he is a wall caster. So Man. let's go with the constitution saving throw with advantage. I think I'll call uh, it's concentration, quote unquote. So I'm going to ha have him do it with advantage. Uh, Nerves of steel honor him. <laughs> 19. Yeah, which, they, he yes, on, which he is. <laughs> which he is. Which he is. All right. That honor him manages to cast fly on himself. <laughs> Let me see. He is. Let me see. Sixty. So he is sixty feet below you guys. Um, I can't make a minus sign on this, can I? No, I can't. That's annoying. Okay. Uh, what's the fly speed on fly? Is it your movement rate? Uh, I think it's no. I think it's something. It's sixty feet. All right. So we. That's right. I should know that. Uh, you flies. guys. Third. Yeah. You guys see Anum emerge from the mists, um, looking rather pissed. Uh, he is. All right. Okay, uh, unfortunately, I don't think it can really do anything else on the stud without his movement and his action, which brings us to Tom Jen. All right, um, looking behind uh, Bassoon here, uh, can I push past him if I'm willing to spend all my movement and get here? Past Bassoon, or, you know, sorry? Or Millaboy, Millaboy rather, sorry. Uh, one second, sorry, I accidentally... Oh, Your daughter. Okay, there we go. <laughs> what? <laughs> uh, Tomogen, that is wall. You can't. Really okay, that's go okay. All right, all right, all right. That's. Yeah. Millevoy is a, actually. I should. That's a good point. I should put this symbol on Millevoy, but he's using an alternate mode of movement. Like essentially, like this is all wall. Like Fisk has a climbing speed. You can basically like, you no, know, hang on with my claw or something. Okay. Um, 
but I can step forward. <laughs> Not a problem. Um, step forward. There's a click as he folds the star spear and uh, not with divine yeah just with divine um he's gonna just no this is a no mister here we go 17 <clears throat> unfortunately like once again the thick hide and fur turns aside your blow all right i already used my bonus action so that's it i'm sorry that's okay <laughs> it's gonna be fun. She's she's the <laughs> fucking ease. Look at would you look at that damage? Oh, key dokey. Oh um, my. So, so, yeah, <laughs> yeah when he does hit, man, that's it's friggin' well, I brutal. love this formation. This shit's Roman as hell. <laughs> twenty four and twenty eight. As soon as I'm about well to, I'm about to unleash the punch. So that's fourteen, thirteen. It's twenty seven. Divided by what's a quarter of twenty-seven? Six divided thirteen. A little okay. less than seven. Thirteen and seven. Yeah. yeah. He's resistant to damage and to non-magical weapon. I guess you guys are basically able to tell as you've been fighting it for a little while now. Like. He's resistant to. Essentially, kind of like a barbarian's age. He's simply just resistant to physical damage. Right, that's uh, Varys' his turn. Actually, wait, am I calculating that right? Yes. Oh. I, th I think I am, because these are two different sources. Varys, you are up. Okay, um, I'm Would going to tell uh, Arodia to bring me back down, and I'll use my, um, I guess it's a bonus <laughs> action to dismount. Is that right? Uh, what's I? Uh, it's it's just a it's not even any part of your action to okay. have her. So move. I'm gonna have Arodia drop me off so I can jump off, and then I'm gonna tell her to go down and pick up. Uh, um, so you want Arodia to go down thirty feet, and let and you will then use half your movement to get off her. That's correct. All right, I believe you are strapped in. Right, so is so that, that a bonus a bo action? It's like a bo I think it's a, we said it's a bonus action or something to yeah. strap and unstrap right, it. Right. So, yeah. so half, what, half the movement, okay. that, um, guess it, where do you want to land? Like Just kind of in between those two, Thomas and uh, Arvac. So over here. Uh, actually, right where I'm at. Right where I'm at, in between the horses. Yeah. The no, 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 like in between the three horses that empty, yeah. Oh, oh, so like over here and then over here? Uh, one to the left. Well, yeah, right, okay. right in there, I so get, I can still. Sure, you, you use like five feet of movement to additionally okay. to, to move aside, yeah. Okay, and then I'm going to tell her to go pick up uh, Honorim. You see, Honorim is kind of <laughs> flying under his own power. It doesn't seem like it's necessary. Oh, I thought he, he was you know, falling. Okay, I thought he was. He was sore. falling earlier, but then you guys kind of saw him like rise back up okay. in this, like okay. you know, friggin' oh, Dragon Ball Z character. He's falling with style. Yeah, essentially. Oh. Is he moving back up or is he still going down? He's moving up. He's currently he's just like level. He's not falling anymore. He's like just level in the air, just kind of like. Okay. Well. That Those sucks. Horses back if off I knew he was coming back up, I wouldn't have taken this action to dismount. If you um, want, we can we we can like kind of turn it back if you wish. That would be awesome because I didn't sure. know that uh, he was. No worries. No. I thought worries. he was still falling. He was just slowed his fall. Absolutely no worries, my man. Thirty okay. feet up, I believe you were. Yep, thirty feet up. Okay, and then I'm just gonna. Ish. Yeah, that's that fine. Yeah. yeah, yeah, that's easier in case this horse has got to move. All right, and I'll just take some. Uh... Hang on. Oh no. Um... Oh no. <laughs> no, I don't want to do that. Oh, I think it has. Uh, actually, I need a trip point. I mean, he is carrying a hand grenade, so every time he says "Oh no," I get worried. 
He is? <laughs> well, the, no. the, 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 oh, the, the morning star. The yeah. morning star. <laughs> <laughs> what? You didn't? Yeah. Oh, I Mav, listen, says, oh, Mav no. can tell you some stories about the Friday guys and how uh, the carrier uses that. But, yeah. Uh, yeah, uh, Venice, what would you like to do? Okay, I'll just go ahead and take some shots. All right, go ahead. Let's go with, um... <laughs> 23, that's a hit. Just take some shots. Fucking ringing him yeah. down like a missile. <laughs> uh, Alright, 26, 7. God, even. Yeah, you are incapable of missing. Although, I suppose you do have the archer style. I missed a couple of last places. I missed two yeah. shots last round. That's true. Yeah. Okay. Alright. And, uh, yeah, so hopefully that did something. And, um,. Uh, how much more movement do I have? Uh, on on Arodia? You haven't moved at all. So far. Okay, I'm going to move in a little bit, like, over to... I'm going to move a little bit over to, like, right here. So we'll bring her over here. And that'll end my... But I'm still up. But I'll, that'll end okay. my turn. Hold on. Okay. All right, what are we cooking here? Oh God, right. <laughs> I think Vez. Vez, did you move yourself a little bit more? I, yeah, I moved it a little bit more because I want to be over the ledge and not over the cliff. Okay. I will just, say you're still like thirty case. feet up. Yeah, I'm still thirty feet up, but I want to be over flat and not a. Cliff. Yeah, no, no, no problem. Speaking of which, once again, little uh, action. <laughs> Uh, frigid winds. Uh, actually, sorry, I should have given the horses like their turn because they would try to move back, uh, back against the wall. <laughs> I'm getting way the fuck out of here. <laughs> uh, and yeah, away from the scary uh, creature. Um, alrighty, so uh, Arodia and Anarim, I'm going to need uh, strength saving throws from them as the they are flying creatures, and they are flying. Okay. Fortunately, they will be with disadvantage because they are flying at the moment. Uh, although I will say, come to think of a uh, yeah, like I will say because Arodia is like flying in with you on your back. You said you you said you're strapping yourself in, right? You said yeah, yeah you use a bonus action. So, okay. so you're gonna use Arodias. Uh, do I just roll a, tw a d20 for that, or should I roll mine? It's d20 plus 4 blood, so 11. <sighs> Alright, so go ahead and give me that. That's 4 plus 4, that's 8. Erodia fails. Okay, let me ask you something, let me ask you something. Can I roll, can I use Indomitable to re-roll for Erodia? What is Indomitable? I get to re-roll a saving throw, and I have to use the next roll. Uh, it's a feat. Sure. A feat. fighter, yeah. Let me see. We're going to roll the same thing. You fail. If you do so, you must use a new roll. You can do this feature. Unfortunately, you cannot. It's something that applies to you specifically, not to your mount. Okay. Yeah. All right. Unless your mount has a feature which says that you share stuff, and I don't think you're in a paladin's mounts get that they get like the okay. spells but yeah, that's cool yeah, sorry about that um Fuck me up <laughs> <laughs> all right if you ask so nicely all right so both you and Odia fail it's right, so both anarim and Odia fail which means they'll buff it on him does a have does have a hover speed which means he does not begin to fall leaf fly gives you a hover and however, Rodia is does not. So, let's see. Anarim is essentially buffeted uh, here and there. I'm going to roll a D D8 for that. Let's see what direction he goes. Five. Let's say south. 
One, two, three, four, five. All right. Into the tree. He goes. One, two, three, four, five. Oh no, I guess so. Into uh, the tree he goes. Um, I'm gonna roll him a deck save to see if he can like avoid the tree itself. And that's gonna be a four. And for, even without disadvantage, that still would have been a four. We usually take the left. So Arnhem gets smacked in the face for six damage. Yay! To believe will pump the concentration on his part. With advantage, I don't. Unless he rolls like double, you know. Don't like, don't, say <laughs> don't say anything. Don't say don't. Just roll. Yep. Let's honor him. Okay. Let's still honor him. <laughs> still honor him. Oh, he's like a little bit entangled in the tree right now, but he's there. Rodia begins to fall. She does not have half a speed. Now, uh, let me see. Varys, as, you know, like, both of you in here, like, are plummeting sh 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 uh, down to the ground. I'm going to need you, like, are you staying on Rodia or not? Because he's plummeting. I, I'm just totally strapped into a radio. Yeah. And I'm not, if I if I jump off, I'm falling thirty feet. So yeah, I'm I'm. In fact, I'm holding. I'm leaning forward and wrapping my arms around her neck. She's kind of like like the, you know, like her wings are sh like fluttered and. All right. Uh, only dexterity saving throw because I want to see if you're gonna be able to avoid being pinned, you know, under her. You are strapped, so this is going to be more difficult. DC is going to be a little unfortunate. Okay. So can I roll a save for that uh, Indomitable now, if that yes, fails I believe Indomitable. I believe Indomitable would kick in now. And I failed, I assume, with that? Yeah, that is a fail. You can re-roll a save throw. you fail. If you do so, you must use the new roll. You can't use the switch as a new yeah. Okay, Go I'm going to re-roll that. Dexterity, right? Yeah. Sir. So, that's still, oh, geez, that's still a fail, I'm afraid, I'm sorry. Yeah, those straps can help, but also they can hinder, which... You have a horse yeah. on you. Oh, <laughs> boom! Rodia. Right. Rodia is a large creature that just fell 30 feet. So, Varys, uh, you are about to lose a few inches on your height, I'm afraid. Alright. <laughs> I'm sorry. Alrighty, that's uh to so being a large creature, I'm going to roll that these are D eights. Uh that was thirty feet, so that's gonna be three D eights. Fourteen. <laughs> right on to you, Varys. I'm not going to you know, roll separate falling damage for you as well, because you did say that you were like holding on to her for dear life. So yeah. that's so you know, that fourteen is basically the combined like <laughs> smash of that. Uh, All right. However, you are pinned under Odia until she's able to get up. All right. Um, Which actually brings me to a point. Um, the horses aren't in the initiative order. Uh, that was my bad. I was being horses, being like you know non-controllable mm -hmm. NPC at the moment because nobody's hiding them. I basically gave them initiative count zero. That's why I had them move before the wind kicked in. Gotcha. Got it. got it, got it, got it, got it, got it. Okay. Yeah, that's why they moved away from yep. the ledge. Uh, yeah. Which does remind me, they, yeah, did everybody else uh, give me rolls? Because I need rolls from everybody else, too. For what? Uh, what am I rolling? Strength saves. Oh. Oh. This is wins. Oh. Come yeah, down. Push you down. It's a layer that's... action. All right. I, I, all right. I get, all right. I'm a, I'm a walk roll. I get three. It's a bit breezy. Wow. Never mind. 25, 31. <laughs> uh, 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 this is a stone. This tiny little cat is a stone. Darby's yep, hanging one, on two, to you. <laughs> yeah, he just gets a look on with dramatic flow. I'm imagining Fisk just kind of like weaving through the, the cast, like with a kata or something. Um. My right, twelve. Ooh, that is a one from Stinky, <laughs> and fails from Glue and Banners. All right, Banners <laughs> manages <laughs> that. However, Stinky gets moved almost to the edge. 
once again. One, two, three, four. Yeah, no. Uh, stinky like. Stinky. And, uh, as well as who does it? Blue manages to smack against this tree. Tomas Jr. is all right. This is Alvac. Uh, no, Alvac is also pushed, but not as much as Stinky. Uh, whose horse is Stinky? Um, I want to say Honorim? No, Honorim's is uh, Tomas Jr. Yeah. So oh, it would be, it would be the was, bassoon or, or Milliboy, actually. Oh, right. Oh, right. In that case. That's um, the bassoon horse. <laughs> Uh, I, I, I'm going to make the read now. This sounds like a bit soon worse. I'm going to do a dexterity saving throw for the horse. Guys, you're... As the horse falls, I'm oh, going stinky. to... Stinky! <laughs> I need to... <laughs> I was like, we had a horse named Stinky. I need I to like, DM uh, Kev and ask if I know him. Ah, uh, all right. Um, I'd say for now, the mist is kind of hiding what Anarim uh, does. But uh, I believe we are now. Uh, let me see. Did anybody else fail? Doesn't um, have it I memorized. I was the lowest. He doesn't have further fall memorized. Oh shit. It's like, it's like not wearing a seatbelt in a Hummer. He should have, technically, honor him should have fallen. I don't know. Mm. An engineer and narrative moment for him where he learns feather fall from ancient bird deity. I don't know. If he did, I don't see why not. Um, I don't know. I would say, I cast being a it. particularly intelligent person, you know, who. You guys are preparing for like a day of walking along the cliff side. I'm going to say. <laughs> he would have memorized that. Spell. Yeah, yeah. It's. <laughs> <laughs> Listen to those rough clacks of the keyboard <laughs> trying to save a. stopping us from a potential party. <laughs> I just. It's like, I. What am I going to do? Like. Uh, you know, like uh, he's typing. It sounds like you're just like slapping. It was my, <laughs> it was my mis it was my mistake as well. I'm not gonna say okay. Well, honor him like drops like a stone. Yeah. Lol is his response. <laughs> Light. Uh, Fisk. My apologies for the delay. <laughs> Go ahead. It is your turn. <laughs> no worries. Okay. Um. Five, ten, fifteen, twenty. 25, 30, 35. I've been around and I've run along the wall and dropped down. I want to get... <laughs> so wait, do you fall down... This... Be pause, do you fall down behind Sangzo? How tall is this thing's... Well, this is what I'm asking, is as I'm here, how tall is this thing's ass? Pretty? That's a good question. <laughs> how tall is it? It's how tall is this... D&D question. How tall a, is this goat's ass? It's a huge creature. Its head is like the, about, you know, like... Maybe a little, maybe like five feet or ten feet lower than its head, I guess. Maybe, maybe five or seven feet. Yeah, five, five feet. Um, Pythagorean theorem, go. Five, seven, something, I don't know. Squared plus B squared equals C squared. Yeah. <laughs> no. Ten. Twenty. Imagining like five. Five or six feet in the air. It's ass. No, no, it's a huge creature. And it's big, so maybe like. Uh, well, I mean, maybe, if I, it's I'm gonna ass, say is, is five feet in the air. Yeah, but it's goats have like a pretty straight spine, right? Like, you yeah. know, yeah. I'm gonna say, I'm gonna say ten feet in the air. Feet? Yeah, ten. And as I go along the wall, I'm gonna 
jump across to its to its ass and like, latch on. As a reaction, as you as you occupy a space behind it, foot shoots up onto uh, it onto its ass. Go can't kick that direction. It's that, oh, right again. onto I mean, its I mean, ass. Yeah, uh, I guess yeah, it can't. Like, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Never mind. Uh, hmm. <laughs> but with my with my strength, I I push off the wall and latch on to its ass with my claws. <laughs> sure. <laughs> uh, let me see. Yeah. All right. Uh, like, well, you ch- you hold on to like the thick furs. It is cold. Cold touch. Uh, okay. Fisk, you feel like the skin on your beans, I guess. <laughs> um, I don't know what they're called. Uh, like freeze and crack. Uh, you, friend, take uh, T4 cold damage. Take five points Ooh. of cold damage. But you are on him. He hasn't had time to try to buck you off. Reckless grappling, let's go! Because I'm on it. Spear materializes, and I flip it down, and I drive it right into its spine. Eighteen, unfortunately, is just short of piercing through, like... Like the speaker kind of slides off. And I try again on the other side. Right? In the back end. 29, yes, you can. Um, 11. Draw blood. Bonus action. The spear dissipates, and where the spear pierced, punch into it. All right. And I retract right. and punch into the hole again. All right, you punch twice more. Are you using a key point? You're burning a key point. Yep. Actually, pause. You just said you used a bonus action. Key point. Uh, so, no, bonus action. Yeah, because I'm, I... I'm seeing two attacks, and then you said I've used a bonus action to spear dissipates or summoned or whatever. Correct. So, bonus action, flurry of blows. But I flurry of blows. So you're not just dissipating the spear then. Oh, I because I'm... it's because it's a, a monk weapon. Oh oh, oh, so, oh, oh, oh! Yeah, yo, you, 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 you only have one bonus action. So yeah, so I used, I used a monk weapon. Bonus two action. Okay, okay. And a bonus action is a flurry of blows, two unarmed strikes. Okay, I thought I got something about you know, the, the the spear itself, but maybe you summoned it in a different turn. Uh, oh, no problem. Uh, pop, 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 pop. All right. Uh, so does the spear? Yeah. So the spear, does that? That's a good question, because that may affect things. The spear come and go at will, or does it take a bonus action? It takes a bonus to action. Sum- to, it takes a bonus action yeah. to summon the spear. It takes a bonus action to summon the spear as a separate weapon. Like you basically, you know how it's like partially fused. It's basically fused with your arm. You basically like whoosh, like taking that out, and you. Summoning it as a spear again. Okay, so then this it's it's a plus eleven to hit with the spear anyway. Mm-hmm. My arm strikes are a plus twelve. So for the first strike, I would have used my claws and dug down just straight through. Okay. And then the second one just punching right into the same hole. Friggin' friggin' hurts. It's like um, for the hmm. first. Flurry of blows, strike. I'm gonna use stunning strike. All right, come right up. Uh, I 
That's a con save, I believe. Yep. Does this count as magic ability? No, eh? No, I'm gonna say no. No. That's a con, it's a 19. That succeeds. Um... Then it's my turn. Uh, actually, mm, nope. I'm going to pop back onto the wall over here. Then it's my turn. <laughs> <laughs> okay. okay, let me see. And Priscilla. Hi. Um, okay. So big harpoon time, or <laughs> fail next time. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, bonus action. She she winds up in uh, motion to thrust. This the kraken's grip does not require concentration, so it's just gonna stay there. Um, in the meantime, I'm gonna go ahead, bonus action, extend the arm to 15 feet. In in the same motion, make two like gangly thrust attacks outward. I'm gonna go ahead and roll. I'm gonna reckless these attacks, and we're gonna play a fun little game called "Is This a Monstrosity or Aberration?" for bonus damage. <laughs> okay. <laughs> it's just neither. Okay, so no psychic damage. Whoa. Uh, this thing is a really big, really cold goat. That's what I was thinking. Just, oh well, it's just a fucking goat. <laughs> a really big goat. It's the kaiju of goats. But it's a it's beast. A goat. Been, it's it's a goat that's been to the gym right. a couple of times. Yeah, yeah. Let's say that he's been on All that right. protein shake. He's here for a reason. Yeah. He's no. He's uh, right. hardened. <laughs> eighteen and twenty-five. Uh, eighteen will miss. However, twenty-five. <laughs> There you go. It's the end of my turn. Imagine <laughs> this <laughs> finger, like, <laughs> extending straight out and poking it, like, <laughs> right in the nose Literally, or some shit. Maverick, Maverick, do the pose. <laughs> Literally that. Oh, what? I said do the pose. Literally that. Yeah. <laughs> <Yep>. <laughs> Just All right. Jamming uh, it right in the nose. <laughs> man, it is now bloodied. It's, wow. Guys, oh. uh... Dishing out a lot of damage. When's the last time I bloodied a creature? Good lord. Bird! Never mind, very <laughs> recently. Shaking right. its large heads as you see it goes angry. Uh, and all right, Milfo is going to uh, sing what Fisk did. He's going to try to copy that and also like latch onto it. Uh, he's then going to try to run up to the head and he's going to. You see him like <laughs> try to get a sip. <laughs> sip. Just a little sip. Just a little sippy sip. <laughs> um yeah, like so it's like to kind of like like make room with the with the with the thing with the uh let's see how that works out for him. One works pretty well. Speed plus so one D four necrotic. <sighs> Alrighty. Okay. Yeah. Latches on. Uh, and makes a second one. Oh man, that looks good. Psh, I punch it. Does it work? Um. Uh, and as we get to Sangzo's turn, you see. You see some of the snow around where it's standing and where like this in the air coming down from the winds begins to around him. Goes bigger. And it was like whoa as the snow quite literally like latches on. Uh, filling some of the wounds uh, you guys inflicted with just hard packed snow. Um, this bitch used armor for Gothies. God damn. 
Uh, hmm. uh, let me see. <laughs> and it will let me see. It will attempt. Uh, it will. It will. It will try to shake off all of you little annoying bastards who are <laughs> on top of it. Uh, and he's going to first of all, he's going to try to whirl around. Like so, basically, he's kind of restricted to where the uh, thing is, so he can't like he can't like sort of you know turn around mm -hmm. like, at least on an axis, you know. Oh. <laughs> it's not really using his speed. It's basically essentially like just turning around. Turning in, in place. Yeah. Uh, Fisk, because you said you were jumping off his butt. You didn't say you were climbing away or moving away. I'm going to assume that you're ten feet up on the wall. Mm -hmm. right. You have given him many ouchies. <laughs> uh, I think he will return the favor. I uh, will spiritedly attempt to do so. <laughs> All right, this will be... Um, many ouchies. Mm -hmm. right. You will attempt to... Guys, Fisk, you are, you know, a man who has, after everything you've been through, you've known very little fear. The sight of a gigantic whole, uh, ram skull, essentially. Uh, if, did you watch One Punch Man? You know that scene with like the, the, the first one says like death on it, and that's basically like the uh, feeling you're getting here. Twenty-five bludgeoning damage, Fisk. Wow. As it Shield. quite literally smashes you into the wall uh, with its head. Shield. <laughs> yep. Is what you guys see. <laughs> and then you guys see Fisk like, sort of like the impre like an outline, a Fisk-shaped outline in the wall, but Fisk himself is okay. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, point of order, I wanted to retcon this before the when <laughs> when Shield goes off. Uh, what you see is uh, seven golden rings just. <laughs> Just, oh. So, oh. just oh, 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 that elder ring <laughs> shit. <laughs> and Zaviel, I will. You can use uh, Zaviel. I will yeah. allow. I will allow no harm to come to you. <laughs> as much as I am able. All and right. Circle him the largest ring, basically the size of him, and takes the brunt of <laughs> whatever <laughs> this is. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Uh, you see him bring his head back for another attempt. Once again, the rings ding, 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 like can uh, hold him back. Uh, wow. Let me see. He's then going to uh, take a stomp. And Connor, yeah, Fisk, you over here. So, Tom, uh, yep. Fisk, and Bassoon, and Milivoy. It's probably just yeah, to hang it's on. Not, not but, Millivoy. You know. yeah, Millivoy is <laughs> going to hang on with the athletics check, but uh, dexterity saving, uh, please. Right, so it succeeds. Millivoy, does he have an athletics? Yes, he does. Millivoy mm -hmm. fails to hang on, and Fisk and Tom succeeds. Let's see. Do a stump. Yes, I did. 13, so that's 13 have. That's zero to Fisk and Tom, I believe. Evasion, zero. Evasion, <laughs> zero. Uh, that's that to Bassoon. And Millivoy is, wasn't there for that, but he does fall off, unfortunately. Okay. Uh. Right, that's Sang's little stone, but you guys can definitely sense that some, you know, some change has occurred here. Like he is, he is big man, serious man. Uh, now, see, like this, I, you know, like where the ice kind of like formed, like a sort of protect, an additional protective layer on him. He looks pissed. All right, uh, other him. Okay, let me think. Um, yeah, like Anarim confirms that he will have used it to save his dear horse Stinky, but I'm going to assume he's not using fly on him. 
at least for now. Uh, let's call this for the fall. Right. Okay. Uh, he says he uses telekinesis to grab it and throw it off the cliff. Uh, I don't know if it would work. I was kind of thinking maybe he wouldn't work because, you know, of the thing. But let me just double check. I don't even know if telekinesis can really grab the creatures on uh, the side. Telekinesis, but... is it the feet? No, it's the no. spell. Okay. No, it's the the spell, and if memory serves, it's. I'm waiting. It. I'm waiting. It. Hold on. Uh, a thousand pounds. A huge or smaller creature. Let me see what size it is. All right. Let me see what size it is. No, because it went up a size because of the um, ice and stuff. So that's right, so that's large. That's huge. Gargantuan. Okay. This is a kaiju. Yeah. Holy shit. I don't know. <laughs> and honestly, the telekinesis probably wouldn't really have walked with the um, mountain mountain bone thing. Which I guess, like, you know, I would say, you know, honor him being a smart fella and not a fart smeller, he could be like, oh, this creature is, like, magically holding on to the mountain and probably can't be moved against its will too much. So, I'm gonna have honor him. It, it is the land. <laughs> <laughs> Under him is yeah, gonna go with something else probably. <sighs> yeah, I can't tell like what spells he did or didn't have. I guess like the ones that well, but I thought he'd be able to do more than these. So I'm not sure. But anyways, uh, I'd hate to be looking through his toolbox. <laughs> it's like, oh man, yeah, I don't what, even know. What what it's, it's, <laughs> yeah, it's yeah. <laughs> I think I think it's the updated one. So. Uh, See if I beat you to it. He's typing. Ah. Yeah, I'm thinking. Uh... <laughs> oh, 500 pounds again. Yeah, no, this... Hmm. But I'm wondering... Anagam is going to try something a little funky. He's going to, let me see, fly, let me see how much, if it's a straight line, that's 60 feet, over here, which means he's basically like on the, kind of like hovering next to uh, Tom Jun. and he's going to try a little some some. Ooh. Which is going to force Sangzo to make a wisdom saving throw. Twelve. All right. Let me think for a moment. Uh, so let's roll that 3d6 first. It's 13 psychic damage to a good old buddy. Uh, it does have the magic resistance, but I don't think it applies to psychic spells. That's the full thing. Uh, so, funnily enough, usually this spell wouldn't cause him to fall, which is what I was sort of going for, but... <clears throat> it does, yeah, on his turn, reaction, yeah. I guess, oh, but he is grappled, so, hmm, actually, I don't know. He wants to go somewhere really bad. <laughs> no, I'm, I guess uh, on its, uh, on its turn, we'll, yeah, it will try as a reaction. Let's uh, give an athletics check. That's 16. What was the DC uh, for the 17. athletics? Uh, oh. like 17. Right. 
It's unable to, but it oh, does. Oh, no, that was 18? I don't know. Yeah. It does what use is it its reaction. Do? It does use its reaction to face away from Anadem. It's trying to use its reaction to break the grapple. Yeah. A it's... reaction? Well, because the trying spell to use forces it... it to move. Yeah, yeah. The, the spell is forcing it to use its reaction to move as yeah. far oh. away from honor him as possible. And this is as oh. close as it can get, yeah. So yeah. I'm going to flip him to indicate that he's now facing away from honor. Yeah, that's totally fair. Um, and I, I'm I, guess, I guess as a free action, could I let him try to run? Sure. <laughs> like, you kind of see, like, what Anna is going for? Think, uh, uh, I, I can see it's like like lashing and trying yeah. to run away. I guess right. from the spell. So yeah, just you see it's retreat into the mist mm -hmm. uh, up to its speed, which is like it just kind of like like off the cliff, like on, on down the cliff. <laughs> it's You're like yeah, this thing can like set up Spider Man its way down the wall. All right, uh, that's on a monstrosity. Turn. My ass, Tom again. Uh, so this thing just I, I just don't see it now it's just leapt off it's the cliff it's like, like just the mist this, this <laughs> mist and looking at it there's mist down there like it went really far down um you just hear Tarbert you just he goes hush I'm like a sound and he goes right on the edge of the cliff and I listen what do I hear give me a perception check alrighty the edge of the cliff that's not the edge of the cliff that's like, this is the edge of the cliff. Oh, okay. Oh, we had more room than I realized. So I, I had some maneuver in there. I didn't know that. All right, yeah. I'm at the edge of the cliff, uh, which I think that qualifies. And, yeah. Uh, more like this. Yeah, That'd wherever you want me. No problem. No. Uh, Exception. What are you you listening? Right? I, I'm listening, listening to hear hooves scrambling back up this cliff in the fog. <laughs> it should be obvious. Even a goat's going to, you know, something that big is making noise. Still for the moment, you still hear the shrieking. Okay, okay. Like right. they're boom, boom, boom. Like you can feel the shaking down coming up the mountain, but it sounds like it's going away, not towards. So the only the other thing I do is I I, I just say um, it's moving away, and I hold hold my action. If I see it, I'm going to hit it. Soon. Or not hold, but yeah. He's going to uh, run towards Venice and Odia and. Uh, using his prodigious strength, attempt to get her the hell off you. Yeah. Alright, that's gonna be... 28. Yeah. Soon's a strong boy. Ooh. Yeah, uh, Varys, you are... Uh, yeah. Fortunately, Odia, you know, like, you didn't break anything, but it sure as hell feel like you did. Okay. Uh, you are prone for the moment, but you're still alive. Uh, but I believe you're bloodied. You have been horse squashed. Alright. <laughs> uh, Varys Bassoon's offering you a hand. Alright, I'll take it. Give the ink to your feet. Anything broken? Uh, I don't think so, but I've... nothing feels good. Uh, neither here. A thing's coming back. Let's get something done underway. Maybe we can collapse on something onto it or lose it in the snows. Somebody take my horse. I'm going to keep my ear out. Everybody down the pass as fast as we can. Maybe we can be gone before it comes back. And I'll this. listen. I'm going to say, uh, uh, what would you like to do on your turn? Okay, I'm going to... Um, Where's the turn? <laughs> I'm going to move over here to where I saw it move down. And then I'm going to, just because what Bassoon just said, um, I'm going to throw down 90, I'm going to throw a chromatic orb just down the freaking canyon with a... Uh, Hail Mary. A, thunder, a thunder orb. Right. Oh, the canyon. I'm gonna rule this basically invisibility because like you're aiming where you think it is. So go ahead and give me an attack or disadvantage, please. Okay. Uh, okay. Hold on. 
Let's see. I gotta get on my other spell sheet. Oof, what am I doing? Is that a D20? But I thought I just clicked on the spell and it automatically rolled it for me. Uh, it does. That's if you do it from the. Oh, it's core from my of, from my sheet. Yeah, Got it. yeah, from the core of the sheet. There you if go. you do it from the yeah, there you go. Woo. Uh, oh, it's at disadvantage. I need to do it again. Yeah. No, no, we'll just take the leftmost one. Okay. Uh, do you have any exhaustion on you? Uh, I have one level of exhaust. exhaustion. Right, so that's a, that's twenty five then. Oh, my five. Oh wait, this is disadvantage. Yeah, I need to. I need to. 18. So that's an 18. 18. Yeah. It goes off into the distance, into the mist, gets swallowed, and you got, then you hear a distant. You're not yeah. sure if it hit or not. Okay. That will. And then I'm going to move back up here towards the back. Uh, actually, I'm going to move back up over here so I'm not right next to it. And that I'm my turn. Like right. action. <sighs> this time, you guys feel as the ground begins to shake, and you can feel above you. you guys, see a bunch of snow beginning to make its way, like an ice beginning to make its way down. Uh, I need Fisk, Varys, Anarim, and Vasilla to give me dexterity saving throws, please. Oh, uh, am I at disadvantage or not? Nope. Uh, don't believe you are. I can roll the nine. You just have a yeah, minus one on your uh, on your d20s. That's all. Okay. Well, that's not showing up, but. So no, no, it's it's just a humble thing. A deck yeah, save, you said? A deck save, I said, yes. Can I see this? Yeah, <clears throat> I guess it's an avalanche coming up from above you. Okay. Watch this shit. Uh. Uh, <laughs> For honor of 16, that's a pass. 14, uh, that's not a pass. Nine, that's not a pass. Twenty-two, that is certainly a pass. Uh, all right. I hear it, and the metal claws just bite into the stone. Just cut right through it and latch on. Yeah, you're like, yeah, you're trying to make yourself as small as possible. Oh, were you trying to stay under the wall, sorry? Yeah. Oh, okay. All right. Uh, Fisk, also give me a strength saving throw. That's like, that's you, you're basically trying to, you know, force push an, uh, push through an avalanche. <laughs> Holy crap, <laughs> Fisk is done. <laughs> Alrighty. Yeah, uh, this does make the trail thinner. Alrighty. Hey, Priscilla. <laughs> hey. Alright. Hi. Hey, uh -oh. everybody. <laughs> Uh -oh. Back. This does make the trail thinner. Uh, Are I'm blind? Yeah. Okay. Uh, and avalanche. Let's see. Come on. Come on. Come on. All right. So let me see. Forty-eight bludgeoning and cold damage. Fisk. That's a pass. So I believe that means nothing for you. Uh, Varys. That is a fail. The cellar, that is a fail. Uh, on him passes. He takes. Okay. Um, so I take 23? I believe so, yes. Okay. Everybody sees Varys. Is, he just, his head falls to the ground. His head? He's, he's, he's just completely. He's down. Oh, oh, oh. Sorry, I thought you meant like it's decapitated by Dude. the snow. Yeah. Like, what? No, no. Just like yeah. in like a very oh strange this shape icicles. <laughs> yeah, not literally. I die. I lose the will to live. Not my death <laughs> <laughs> I hate being wet. 
<laughs> All right, so <laughs> yeah, Varys is now, uh, yeah, Varys, you are now, yeah, we are trying out those uh, dying yeah. rules, which means that you are not unconscious, uh, but you are prone and you are currently dying. Uh, but that, that but uh, you can still do things on your turn. Okay. All right. That was uh, Varys. I took on and passed to save. Vasilla, you failed, so you need to take 23 uh, points of bludgeoning and cold. How much damage? Uh, 23 uh, divided by half, that's 11. Uh, sorry, no, 23 full, that's 23. Yeah, I, I'm not raging, so it's, yeah, that's no. the full. Uh, I'm going to draw out where, you know, the cliff is. The the, cli the face is still, like, yes, sta please, well, there's still standing material, essentially. Okay. Yeah. Uh, that might matter. <laughs> yeah. It's. This is snow that was all there. I guess like it's kind of slid. So actually, soon should have rolled me that as well. I'm just realizing. So, one second. So this is basically like difficult terrain, and the closer you are to the wall, the more snow there is. Like on the edge, it's like still sort of traversable, but it's basically like very, very narrow now. Um. Like essentially, like anything, bad, like on Vervis, like Vasilla is like neck deep, mm -hmm. essentially, and Varys mm -hmm. and Fisk and Honor are essentially buried. Which I want to say like this. See, like that means that you managed to like avoid the damage itself, but you know the snow is still physically there. <laughs> uh, I'll say because it was just before my turn, the. The shield kind of covered me and created a dome. Yeah, no, definitely. It's like, uh, okay, I uh, can't really do this. I'm just going to do yeah, as soon fails. He takes the 23. Fisk, you are. I'm going to take out the wand to cure wounds and. Um, Actually, I'm going to jam my hand down into the snow because I saw Varus right next to me. And I'm going to grab him and pull him up out of the snow. He's unconscious? He's unconscious. Uh, well, he's not, he's clearly, like, bleeding out. Like, his head's lolling. And <laughs> he said, <laughs> uh, I'm going to take the, the wand to cure wounds and... I uh, use two charges. Mm -hmm. Nope, that's not it. <laughs> you get uh, nine points of healing back. I don't think it can be upcast. I use two charges. Yeah, oh. two charges, so yeah. There's four. What? Right. Uh, Varys, you are healed for 9? Or 19? Right. So, yeah, it's uh, 1d8 plus 2. So seven. It's two. Yeah, so it's... Uh, yeah. So. 2d8? I don't, I don't understand why that's... Oh, I, I see what's happening here. So, Fisk, unfortunately, you can't use multiple... I don't think you can use multiple charges at once. Just... Fuck... It's, it's, a, it's, a, it's, a, it's a casting of 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 cure wounds once, and then you need another turn to cast it again. Yeah. Okay. So let's say, so it's a nine. So okay. So various you heal for nine. All right. Unless I'm mistaken, unless I've ruled it otherwise before. That's how I've been it. using the my want my mace to when I touch people, I I can't touch them multiple times. Gotcha. Okay, so then um, you heal for nine points, and uh, what is this net on me? Uh, it just means that you basically like buried in the snow. 
with uh, various, like, he managed to pull him out, like, kind of get his air out, so he has air he can breathe. But while you guys have forged the damage from the snow, you guys are still kind of buried in it. You still need to get yourself out. Gotcha. Then I will claw my way out. All right, give me um, an athletics, please. Actually, wait, you already used your action. Sorry, you already used your action here. Um, so unfortunately you can't, but if you want, we'll hold on to that 17 for your next turn, which will allow you to, you know, automatically succeed with your action there. Um, um, gotcha, so it takes an action to get It takes an action to basically like, get yourself out of a bunch of friggin' snow. Um, okay. Uh, then I think that's that's my turn. What? Uh, bonus action, patient defense. <laughs> bonus action, you patiently defend. All right. Uh, <laughs> Vasilla. In case this thing comes back up the mountain. Vasilla, you are a lot, you know, like you're more like kind of like neck deep, so you're like, you can still breathe. Uh, but it knocked you about some. Um, what would you like to do? You could you could use your action to free yourself from the snow, uh, or you could do something else. Uh, I am neck deep, deep, neck deep. Maybe like a little bit lower, but then maybe more like shoulder deep because you are tall. But <laughs> <yeah>. I'm stuck. <laughs> okay. <laughs> um. <laughs> See, if if I wasn't in a moment of absolute pain, like uh, stress right now, I'd be like drawing those things with my little claw arm. But um, uh, in the moment, um, I have to use a bonus action every time I want to retract it. Like, it's like a full-on committed like bonus action. Yeah, let me double check it. Yeah, it should be. Uh, I believe it should say. It should so. say. Usually, like usually, you know, like changing the uh, mode on weapons. Pick weapon is, stuff. Yeah, okay. Uh, it's usually a bonus. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, bonus action. So, um, I'm gonna use. Uh, who's stuck here still? Uh, pretty much everybody who was in the snow. So that's various first Ghana, you and Bassoon. Well, I really wish I had my action search now. But... Well, um, I'm a bonus action retract it, my arm in, and with both hands try to push myself out of the snow. Or, like, try to wiggle out. Alright, go ahead and give me an athletics, please. Alright. Normal. Because I'm not raging. That's a giant. The uh, same bonus. Whatever. We'll take that. Uh, Viseli managed to pull yourself out of the snow. Uh, it is considered difficult terrain. Um, it is difficult to move through. Because you're trying to move. If you move through it, not as difficult. Essentially, you could move through it, not as difficult terrain. But you're risking uh, you know, sinking back into it. Um, right, you still have your bonus and you move. Mm -hmm. Unless you use your bonus side. Uh, I'm flicking your weapon. Mm, I use my bonus. Uh, my move. Um, I guess I'll move over here and I can candlestick and use me as leverage if he needs some pumps. You know what? No, he's a candlestick. My bad. No, I'm going to go up. To Varys. And you see her. And the, 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 yeah. yeah. Where you. Honor where him. You're fairly certain honor him is. <laughs> yeah. 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 I don't know. Yeah, like, I you, guess it's like my you can turn. see like a bit of his like robe. Like the, the very tippy top of his It's like, like It's robe. like pulled up over his own head. Yeah, yeah, yeah exactly. <laughs> like they get pulled up by the, the snow. So, is that the end of your turn? 
That, yeah, that's the end. That's the end. Right. Millivoy is going to try. Um, he's going to try to go down and see where this creature's at. Hopefully, he has spider cloim. He's gonna call up. It's coming back! And, like, <laughs> like back up. <laughs> out of the way. And he's actually gonna hold an action to hit it when it does. You guys go. <laughs> As, uh, the massive court goes up. Like, charges good. his way up. Uh, and let me see. 60. I had to go 60. I'm going to 60 back up, so that puts him back in neutral. And. Yeah, Melvoy is going to immediately attack it. Melvoy. Shovel. Unfortunately, I do have to take that 10, which is a miss. No, that's plus three. That's ten. That's thirteen. That's still a miss. Uh, let me see. So, see, it's it moves itself over here and it stands there. Call, bleating out a warning to you all. For the moment, it is. It has stopped attacking. But you guys can definitely sense it is warning you. <laughs> Turn back. Is the message you guys are feeling. Right. I see the, the ice spikes, the ice that formed spikes on its shoulder and back now. It's like, shh. Uh. Okay. I still grappled. Honor him. Has had enough of this. Uh, he's still under the effect of fly, which is still restricting him, I would say, because the snow is still. Uh, yeah, the fly isn't going to allow him to just out of the snow. Get Misty Step because I can't see out of the snow. Um, he's gonna have to roll me uh, some. Uh, that's all. I think that's an athletics. It's an eight. It's going to swear and swear and swear. Um, uh, but yeah, if I saw you hear a cacophony of swearing coming from under the snow, telling you where Honor him is exactly. Perfect. Uh, Tom well uh, okay um i still got bless swirl or the the uh that that is that a thunderous smite Sman th thunderous smite yes S thunderous smite. i was trying to say smanderous smite. yeah <laughs> thunderous <laughs> smite that's my exact movement right there quite a thunderous bite and uh, uh once, i don't think i get advantage tom one second that is difficult terrain that is difficult terrain Yes. Uh, oh, through, through the, the slide. Snow. Yeah. Okay. The, and I was all the way. An avalanche, yeah. And I was all the way up here. Okay. I think you were You're one square one above. Yeah, oh dear. Yeah, yeah. I'm just trying to. Yeah. No hmm. worries. So this is a pretty narrow ledge, essentially. Okay. But, you know, you could try to move through it, if you wish. Um. Or oh, like moving through the slush. Yeah. Okay. I've got. If I use my bonus action, I can. Um, what do you call it? Just uh, use my dash and get to my normal movement, basically, right? Yeah. So. Essentially, yeah. All right. When so. I draw out like the kind of different levels, it's, it's yeah. kind of leveled. Adam said he wouldn't have stopped flying. He would have continued to fly. No, he still. I still have him flying in the thing. He's just. Why would he have uh, gotten caught by the avalanche? Because he's... When he moved, because, uh, to get it to fuck off, 
he went in a direction that would cause him to move away in the straight line. The only way he could have gotten him to do that was from where he is right now. Um, and because Fly gives you 60 feet, so 60 feet along the edge, 60 feet. He's technically in the same level as everybody else. Gotcha. And unfortunately, okay. this is just like one of those things that I can, I have to judge what I can because he's not here. I'm just relaying the message. Because <laughs> I know you got a lot to deal with, so I'm catching the messages. <laughs> and I appreciate that. Right, Tom. Um, uh, so with my dash, can I get to there and still have my attack? Remember that Arodia counts as difficult terrain, despite being an ally. Okay. Moving through an ally space is difficult terrain. What's the... So that's... How much do I lose that's, when I do that? So, you know, that counts as... So moving through another ally space counts as double. So normally this would be 10 feet. This is 20 feet now. Okay, so that's 20 feet. I have 90 I can burn through. I'm getting as close as I can. Right. Yeah, so, I think you'd which, be able to. Yeah, I just, you know, is it close enough to hit that damn goat is my question. Uh, looks like it to me. Okay, that's what, then, uh, yeah. So, well, cause so, if you, yeah. say you, you said 90, but remember that, like, that would be another dash with your action. So that would burn out your action if you go no, for no, I, I can take a dash as a bonus action. Yes, which would give you 60, I believe. Okay. Um, I think, like, what's your, what's your base speed here? I'm 30. 30, yeah. So that gives you 60 feet without using your action. Okay, all right. So, but I can get to, like, here then. I believe so. Let me see. 20, 25, 30, 35, 40. All right, I, I do that in uh, what kind of action is Probably that? Probably over here, because, like, you're standing, like, literally, uh, where you're standing, you would fall. Um, actually, no, yeah. no, I'm going to make this really easy. I'm just going to go around Arodia, and that's it, just so that's I can true. see this goat. Mm -hmm. So we'll keep it simple, and I look at it, and I'm like, oh, no. And I cast Vow of Enmity on it. What? Yeah, or I, I name it. Go, go. Yep. Like, oh, no. I'm done with you. And that's my turn. No problemo. Right. Uh, Bassoon is going to... Guys, guys, you It's <laughs> like this, like, kind of orange light, like, from under snow, and... <laughs> like an eruption of steam around him <laughs> as he enters a fiery blood rage. He has also had enough of these Monday to Friday goats on this Monday to Friday mountain. Uh, let's see. And with that. Yeah, Day to Friday. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, if HBO ever wants to pick up my uh, thing and to make sure we're clean. <laughs> uh, all right, so that's pretty much melted. Man's literally on fire. Uh, as he's going to... Uh, five, thirty, just enough to get up there. And that's actually... Now we're going to have a fire gate axe attack. It's a miss, and that is a ooh la la. Okay, Faint. <laughs> smashes <laughs> uh, right into the uh, right into the cup. Let me see how long the gas is. Once again. It's five. Okay. So. Right. Melee attack. So that's ten. So like get. Psh, like a bunch of cold spikes like psh, like out of the ice and like strike soon just as he strikes back and it does actually make him bloodied at this point uh, no that might doesn't but he's close uh, yeah 17 would have badly missed he's, he has like three levels of exhaustion thanks to being Mil uh, Milivoy's jig box but that is a lot of damage all right Okay, uh, it is bloodied again. Uh, Bassoon's gonna call. <sighs> no, it's weakening! Ferris, uh, you are up. You are no longer dying, which means you do not take exhaustion from uh, acting. But you are, your head is above the snow, but that's pretty much it. You would need to use your action to free yourself from the snow. 
Or if you have anything else that you can do, like teleportation or something like that. Your fisk's arm pull you up Sorry, through the I'll snow. Get, I can't, I can't, my arms aren't above the, my, it's just my head. Yeah, like, you're, like you're, you, can, you can, like, sort of move your arms, but you're basically restrained okay. by the snow. Okay. Um, Which well, means shit. you can attack just with disadvantage. I can attack or I cannot attack? You can just with disadvantage because you're basically restrained by the snow. Okay. What about... <clears throat> um... What about, so I, if I can shoot, I have some special arrows that allow me to teleport where I shoot the arrow. Would that Certainly count as an do. action or would that count as a bonus action? That's an attack. One shot. Yep. Make okay. Um, all right. Well, then immediately what I'm going to do is I'm going to do... Uh, I'm going to take second win. Yeah. So here's it is. When you shoot at the target, the shooter can use a bonus action to teleport to the arrow's destination. Still have to shoot it. Okay. So, so I'm going to use one of your uh, attacks and a bonus action. Yeah. I'm, I'm sorry, what was that last piece? It will take one of your attacks and a bonus action. Okay. Um, well, then what I'm going to do is I'm going to. So it's an action to get out of the snow. All right, so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to use, um, I'm going to use my bonus action to cast or to use my second wind. Okay. And uh, I mean, not second wind. Hold on. You use your action to cast my second wind. My, I, I want to use my. No oh, wait, I thought second wind gave me Second Wind heals you. Yeah. Yeah. My 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 character sheet is fucked up. It, it's saying <laughs> second wind being at seventh level, when you use your action to cast a cantrip, you can make that it's like it's what? Yeah, my second wind has it has uh my Eldritch Strike. Weird. Uh, what, what do you want to do? No, no, no. It's like you're trying to heal yourself. Okay, no, no, no. You know what? It was just the UI and it's oh, broken the user interface. It was collapsing things. Okay. I see, I see. No. That's what I thought. Okay. Um, so I'm going to roll a d10. Right, d10 plus your fighter level, which I believe is 10. Right? I believe you're a pure fighter. Yeah. Alright, so let's see how much <laughs> that is. That is 20. Damn! Nice Okay, and then I'll use my action to get out of here. All right, so give me an athletics. Uh, give me an athletics. Okay. That's 16. That passes. Varys, you are no longer restrained as you pull yourself up to the top of the snow. Okay, and then I'll use my movement to go... I guess it's halved, I, I presume, because the. Um, so I'll use my movement to go right. Let's see, right here. Oh, sorry. So, how much movement do you have? Well, 15, because so I'm. Half. Okay, so 15, yeah. So you can move yeah, 15 feet. And then that went my turn. Alrighty. Uh, which will bring us back to the layer action. Seeing that you guys do <laughs> not retreat, saying, and it's going to stomp three times. Psh, psh, psh. And let me see. Fisk and Anarim are still trapped in the ice. And the two people that are still trapped in the ice, you guys feel like as it hardens around you and and begins to squeeze. Two of you. Let me see. You need constitution saving throws from Fisk and from Anurim. Uh This will be... 
Mike. That's a fail. That's 13 bludgeoning damage on you. Fisk. And let me see. Honor and sheet. I don't believe you rolls this with advantage because it's just normal. It's a con save. That's a 13 that he fails as well, which means I need to make a con save for the fly, which means he fails and loses the fly. Alright. Fly's gone. And that's a 13 points of bludgeoning damage to on him as well. Okay. Let me see. Uh, Fisk, you are up. Hey guys, I gotta step away for just a few minutes. I'll be back. No problem. Okay. Should we take this time to take a break too? Since I gotta uh, walk my dog. Uh, quick one, anyway. Yeah, let's say five minutes. All right. All right. Mav, like, can you, Mav, we're, we're done like in about fifteen minutes. Can you? Oh, okay. Yeah, All right. I, I didn't it's realize. Like, yeah, it's like nine twenty. You said at six thirty. Yeah. yeah. Oh, okay, then a little power through it. My bad, my bad. Yeah. I just have responsibilities, that's all. Yeah, no, no, no worries. Like, we're nearly done. Like, I have to be early tomorrow. I have to be up early, super early tomorrow morning because I'm actually going to Toronto to get myself measured for a suit. Um, oh, final measurements? <laughs> I hope. God. Uh, but, uh, yeah, let's, let's, let's say we take two minutes. Go, you know, do whatever we can do in two minutes while we're waiting for uh, yeah. Eric. Yeah, a break. Uh, I'll just yeah. make like a mini break. Yeah, we'll probably just hang here. <sighs> oh man. Yeah. yeah, I will admit that this is uh, and cut this out of the episode. Of whenever course, Chris. Yeah. Uh, this is one of those like encounters that are like absolutely nothing in the OG module. Like, it's just he's literally just a big goat in the module that is supposed to like bah and like kind of stomp. It it's would like, feel really dumb to just find a goat. <laughs> yeah, that, it's like it's not you know yeah, like, yeah. The, the party is like around your level, like or maybe like one or two lower maximum. I I mean I don't know but, what his story is, but I feel like we found the guardian of the path that we have to friggin' beat our way through somehow or something. Listen, you know, so yeah, yeah. yeah. You have like, the guard in the path here. He's just like a regular big goat. <laughs> He's cool. It's, it's actually, it's like, it's like, I'm glad you like him, yeah. I really like I, I really like what I did with him, and it's probably why I was so bummed as well, and I think you guys are doing great. Uh, I enjoy that, because you guys are higher level now, I can challenge you in newer ways, as you know, you guys are... Fisk just changing to, against, like, boxer yeah. mode was epic. That was great. Uh, I was like, yep, okay. <laughs> I, I, I wish I could draw because, like, every time Fisk, like, does, like, these kind of things, I'm like, mm. that elbow to the skull, like, ah, I want to draw that moment. <laughs> yeah. There's a lot of moments in the campaign that, like, I, I wish I could draw. And it's, it's hey, maybe, maybe one day I'll, I'll be able to because this is all recorded. I, I'm very, I'm super thankful to Maverick for drawing the uh, werewolf. The, oh, yeah. the resurrection reveal with Fisk, and I was like, mm. Mm, that was juicy. Yeah. I I do have thoughts and ideas of doing portraits of all the characters, uh, of all the PCs. Yeah, that'd be... Yeah, I, I, oh man, there's, there's so much I want to do. I w okay, like, I, I know you're going to be rich, busy I'd... with your wedding and everything for months, right? But sometime uh, after that, when mm -hmm. life settles, I would like, if you would, to guest NPC your Curse of, or Call of Cthulhu character. Mm. Seven years Mine? after. Because they're part of my campaign, like, seven years later. Oh, are you talking about Killian? Yes. Oh, sure, sure, I would love that. Okay, cool. All right, God, but yeah, I it'll was... be a long way down the line. Adam, I, showed my mom. I have plans for you fairly soon. I showed my mom the um, okay. my my little cosplay with a mustache, and she had such a laugh. And my dad was like, "Oh, you look like me." <laughs> when I went, my dad my dad uh, is so is adorable. He's like this, you know, mostly Tunisian guy, and he's uh, he was he was you know like one of those guys who like big into disco. Like we found a picture of him and his sister wedding at his sister, my aunt's wedding, and like he has like this disco outfit, like the mustache. Now I'm like, that's not. There's no. no way. This is the man that raised me. The respectable doctor. 
There is no way wow. you look like. He look, dude. Oh my god, he looks and he was and he's handsome as well. But it's so funny because like it's a, such a small period in his life, right? Because he basically like, like, like from time he was like twenty four. He doesn't like he looks the same. Like he looks the same. Looks the same. Looks the same. Disco mode. Looks the same. 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 <laughs> Like, like he hasn't changed since I was a kid. Like in his appearance, and yeah, I love him to bits. Uh, hey, all right, hey, Ed. all right, so okay. Ben, welcome back. Uh, did I do the layer action? Yes, I did. Um, Fisk, uh, you are up. Uh, the ice, it, like the snow, has compacted into hard ice. It is becoming difficult to breathe. The shield has given you like a. a a bubble of air uh, but you definitely get the feeling that you know if you're not breaking out of here soon you're gonna be in trouble I thought you rolled a 17 last time and automatically get out uh, no yes but he still needs to use his action to to do so oh I think yeah so that's what I'm gonna do <laughs> all right 17 will still be enough to break through the ice I don't even believe you have any levels of exhaustion do you Fisk? no all right uh, and Fisk is no longer restrained. Crack, 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 pow! Crack through the ice. All right, you're now standing atop it. Let's see, just a, a black clawed hand just like burst out of the snow, and <laughs> Fisk crawls out of the top. Shakes. <laughs> and all fours starts running on top of the snow towards this thing. Right. Remember, this is difficult to end, but I think you have more than enough speed already. Yep. All right. Uh, Go ahead. And. Bloody together. I forgot that we had this. That was my. That was my action. So I'm just getting in front of it, and I just plant myself. Right in front, again, in that same stance. Unmovable in front of it. Uh, oh, are you hitting it at all? Yeah. It's my action. Um, I'd say... Bonus action, patient defense. And then that's my turn. Is patient defense cost a key point? No, eh? It does. Oh, it does. Okay. Yep. All right. Vesela, you are up. Uh, All right. I'm still kind of trapped under the snow, now ice, and you can hear his cursing is going more foul, at least you assume. He's starting to switch to different languages to swear in. All right, that's that's probably a massive warning sign. Um, I'm going to go ahead and use more like an ice pick and start picking into the ground to try to get him out. It's funny, as soon as Arnhem isn't played by Kef, the like, thing starts saving against him. Uh, the ice pick, I said. What do you say? I mute. She's using her fucking weird biomechanic spider claw thing as like an ice pick to like try <laughs> to like, like dig to him. I'll say, give me uh, an athletics check on your part. Oh, before that, I'm a rage. Now Go I'm ahead. gonna do. <laughs> All right. Rage. Give me my wizard back. <laughs> yeah! Give me my wizard and back! You raise it above your hand and honor him swears, but like once more as you. And you can see his head exposed. You nearly took my dumb head off! Yeah, hurry up before this takes the rest of your body. And she's gonna, with the other yeah. arm, pull him out. You yank him out a little bit harder than you intended because you're still in rage. Mm hmm. But, uh, yeah, I could see. Wow. <laughs> Was that a singular check or like an apartment attack action sort of deal? But, or... That was a check. That was not okay. to do. Okay, all right. Um, I guess um, continue to move up here. Yeah. Anarim sneezes. Uh, remember, this is difficult terrain. Uh, if you want to move. Yeah. Well, I should have 20 feet of movement, so I'll end up here. Is the puddle still there, or is it buried? It's buried, yeah, it's gone. No! <laughs> oh, wow. Puddle, no! <laughs> right, anything else, Vasilla? That's it. <laughs> right, Milavoy is going to, like, uh, run to Bassoon's side and attempt, like, a shoveling. 
Uh, it's 22, that's a hit. It was five, bonk. Uh, unfortunately, that means that pff, like a spike of ice is just uh, right into Milovoy, uh, who automatically takes 10 cold damage. Him with that dollar store bite. Uh, light. That wasn't a bite, that was a shovel attack. Uh, oh, wait, a shovel attack? Yeah, he's, he's using his shovel to fight. Alright, that was middle of I gotta turn. give this kid a weapon. Oh my god. <laughs> oh. <laughs> and he's not doing bad damage with the yeah. shovel. I should be uh, funny and give him the silvered longsword. <laughs> see. You see the uh, goat begin to like look here and there and begin to like retreat one step, two steps. Uh, first, do you want to take an attack of opportunity? Uh, do I get a chance to do that? Okay. I don't believe you no, are no, in mind, within mind. melee sorry, range. Sorry, sorry, never mind. Yeah. Fisk, do you want to take an attack of opportunity? No. All right. Just oh, in, just stare at it in the eyes as it backs up. Basir and Milvoy also. Do not. It then stops. And lowers its head. And it will engage in a charge. Ladies and gentlemen, it's been an honor. <laughs> oh boy. Alright. Let me see who we can get. Um... <laughs> he gave he up his one chance. <laughs> he definitely doesn't like you, Fisk. Uh, he doesn't like Pursue neither. He doesn't really like any of you, honestly. He hasn't been fond in particular. He's definitely going to complain to HR about this. <laughs> Like, and like it's just basically going to trample uh, ch -ch -ch. and I can't get to Varys but I think he can get to Vesela uh, alright so let's hope that this let's hope, let's hope he rolls a natural one because this is going to be bad because he's going to be rolling an additional 2d8 if this hits alright so I believe this is hits uh, are you shielding Oops. this time as well uh, Fisk? Yeah, I'm going to use the shield one more time. Alright. I, I believe, yeah, you don't need to give me a strength saving throw, because that doesn't count as a hit. Uh, however, Vasilla, I need a strength saving throw from you. Alright, I could take it. Bring it, motherfucker. You know I'm what? So I'm, sorry. A... I'm so sorry. I, I I'm so sorry. That's a nine. I'm going to take the strength I, I save. I roll with advantage. I'm raging. Uh, do you hold stun seven throw with advantage as well? Yeah, yeah, definitely. Yeah, oh, go, go, go. absolutely. <laughs> yeah, no problem. No problem. <laughs> I, I haven't played a barbarian myself in a long time. Right, like, let's see. That is bassoon who doesn't have like any fancy. Like, that's you still take the damage though. So I think blue. Still? I think if if I remember reading Blood Rager, it's like I think even for them, it's advantage on strength saves. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So that's okay. an additional two D eight and eleven. Wow, you are lucky. That is two natural ones on those D8s in a fall. Uh, and then an additional eight. That is a 19 total damage uh, for All that right. ram attack. Uh, nice fisk, not to zero to Fisk. 18 to, yeah, 19 to Pursuit. Uh, Milavoy, ironically, was out of its range because it's state attack. That's 19. So that's 19 to you have. Um, that would be a nine. Think, yeah. Uh, Did I pass it? You pass it. Yes, you pass it. Sorry. Oh, then. So then I round that down again to a, a four. No, no. Just... That this is just to see if you get like thrown. <laughs> it doesn't have the damage. Oh, okay. This is this is basically the kind of attack that goes every every like every creature that is hit in its path is hit. Oh wow! It's mowing. Yeah. It's mowing the lawn. Yeah, oh, I mean, shit. like when you have like this kind of like boss, you know, lone boss type enemies, you do have to kind of give them the juice. Mm -hmm. Stunk seven bassoon twenty nine succeeds. 
but he still takes damage and he is bloodied at the moment. Uh, God, he is waiting for it to start. So if I save, how much damage am I taking? It's still the same. The strength save is just to see if you get thrown. So it's 11 plus 8? Yes. I believe you don't take any because you uh, cast shield? Yeah. No, I took the strength save instead. Oh, rolled a 26. Okay. okay, in that case you yeah. take a 19. Uh, you rolled a 26. You, you know, don't get thrown. But, yeah, you're essentially like under his feet. There, you know, like in that. Uh, area, it is terribly cold. Um, and let's see. Uh, actually, is he under half health? Yeah, no. Uh, yes, he is. So it's bloodied. So, it's going to be an additional 28 for the cold damage. That's 7. Uh, yeah, so that's 19 plus 7. That's 26. Uh, alrighty, and I think that was the ram, and now it's gonna stop, so give me the dexterity saving throw. Uh, <sighs> my mom really liked the, uh, okay. I'm like, mom, I'm, I'm walking. I really want to tell you that I really liked your gift. You're welcome. Uh, uh, Fisk, that's a pass. As always. If you failed a single dexterity saving throw in this campaign, I don't think you did. It's rare. Um, maybe maybe one or two. I think like once. All right. yeah. uh, Vasila, could you give me kindly a uh, dexterity saving throw? Give me a second. Um, this is also with advantage. Oh, Lord, help me. Lord, help you indeed. Uh, that's gonna be a stump attack. However, there's no cold damage on the stump attack, because it's just, you know, him stomping. And it's gay, yes, but, uh, yeah. That's a 12 bludgeoning damage. Um, zero for Fisk, six to Bassoon. And 12 for Vasella, which I believe is halved, because you're aging. So, that's... Yeah! Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Alright, Anarim has had quite enough of this nonsense. Uh, right. And he probably still wants to use telekinesis. So, let's see if he can do something funky. Anarim has pretty high passive perception, so yes. he looks around. I believe it can move up to a thousand pounds. Yep. Right. Anarim smiles grimly. <laughs> guys, you like. And like, like a bunch of stuff fall down. Like, you guys, like, all, even the goat looks up. And you guys see like this large boulder hovering, like in his broad uh, over the the go. Bah! And you see it like, like kind of bracing its feet. Bah! And <laughs> what's gonna take it? Anarim's like <laughs> drops uh, the massive boulder. Uh, I'm going to roll. Let's see. Okay, so. How do you even quantify that and damage die? <laughs> well, I'm going to tell you right now how. I'm going to roll to see how big that uh, boulder is. D100, and I'm going to double it by 10. <laughs> wow. I am yeah. a man of my ward. Right, that's, so we'll call it a 90. Uh, so let's go, we'll call it a 9, 000, like 9,020, <laughs> 920 pounds, and I'm going to say, what sounds fair to you guys, like, let's say 1d8 per... I feel like that's... I feel like... Yeah. I'm Ten. Bob... Like, yeah, let me <laughs> see. 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10
Yeah, let's call that a hunt. One D. Yeah, wow, telekinesis has a lot of potential. Uh, so let's call that. <laughs> Can I lobby one for two D? So it's eight or ten grown one. men dropping on his Four. head. <laughs> So that's going to be 15 plus 19, that's 20, 34, I think, right? Yeah, my math sounds correct. Yeah. My math is correct. That's 34. <laughs> As the uh, boulder is smashed under Stangzo's head. Right, like, yeah, it's, he's brrr, And like you see, like it smashes on his horn. He's tough, but that was... But you do see, like, the, the, the fight has worn him down. So, like, despite how tough he is, like, this is still wearing him down. Um, uh, what? This is, uh, yep. Under him, smiles of satisfaction. Right, and Tomogen, go ahead. Cooley walks up five, that takes him to 15 right there. And he just, uh, make sure I'm at advantage because of the uh, enmity. And he's going to hit him hard with everything he has. If I can find that thing, there it is. What's the advantage from? Bow of enmity. Oh, bow enmity. Bow of enmity. Um, did that apply all my stuff? Uh, That's us. No, it did not. Why? So, yeah, there should be a thunderous smite in that. Yeah, go ahead and hold that then. Um, what Hit him I... with the saws. Oh, I don't even know what to roll for that. Hang on. Beep, beep, boo. Did that? Uh, 2d6 thunder, all right. 2d6 thunder. Good lord. Oh boy. Okay, <laughs> that's another seven. Uh, and... Oh my god. Did it do my uh, sneak attack? Uh, what's my sneak attack damage? I can't even remember. 46. 46. <laughs> Is it the six or the eight? I forget. Uh, it's a it's six. Six. It's a six. Yeah. That's enough. Um... <laughs> All right. So anyway, so I hit him really, really hard. Um, and oh, wait a minute! Did that do the green flame blade? Is that 32. in there? Uh, so that's what three d eight for the green flame blade too. Or, God. So and another eleven. Because yes, it does stack. That's why I get those massive hits. It just—it's all these little things stacking on top. Right. So. As you attack it, like a cold <laughs> spike of ice, like psh, pisses you, Tomogen. Okay. As the armor of Gatpesson, that's 10. <laughs> How much is it? 10. 10, okay. Yeah. And I'm just going to take a moment and read out loud what, the, what uh, Thunderous Smite does. <laughs> The first time when you hit blah blah blah, oh. the weapon rings with the thunder that is audible within 300 feet of you. Mm. You guys hear <laughs> <laughs> coming off of Tomogen as he strikes the creature. And Sangzo looks down at you, and you can see that you, d you, know, you did indeed like uh, hurt him quite badly just now. That's 11, 11, 7, 14. Which is 22, 28, um, 38 plus 4 is 42, and then we have the slashing part that's 30. 30. Mm -hmm. It's not full. And that's a 33. And does a silence for a moment. And you guys all here. As a gigantic avalanche has been triggered by the thunder rolling. And with that, we'll end tonight's session of the Curse of Slut. <laughs> I honestly, I'm surprised that didn't happen round two. Yeah.